Hey everybody, and welcome back to episode six of my satisfactory uh, playthrough for update number eight. Uh, in this one, I get uh, the base quadrant, the, the first quadrant, I get it all finished up and done, uh, other than wall and roof sockets, which I just didn't get out of the uh, uh, the fix-it shop. I get a zipline tool. Woohoo! I love ziplining. I get Caterium up and running, which is what I'm headed to right now. And, you know, get all the way up to Caterium wire so I can get some... Uh, tech done up and all sorts of fun stuff. And yeah, I think that's about all I get done in this one. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, well, me, thanks for joining me and uh, hope you enjoy the episode. He was big. Let's, uh... Oh, okay, I need to calm down after that one. I can't really remember how much caterium I need. I think it was 50. I got some at home, but... That is one stack, yes it is. Okay, so we'll get rid of the two. That's where I'm gonna be taking my thumbnails from. Okay, um, can we mine this? You know what, I probably don't have, I don't have a miner on me. Okay, that's not that hard to take care of. One portable miner. Don't want this here. Um, nine. Uh, control. Uh, one of the uh, commenters in um, the comment section told me to hold down the control key and it puts it to a global. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, puts it to a global, what do you call it? You know what, we gotta put, yeah, let's go level three, so. Right. Um, like a global position, which I, I'm, I'm curious as to whether this will line up. He did mention that it would line up now in the game. They put it into the game and it'll line up. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna find out. Um, we can put you that way. Come on. Okay. Okay, um, switch to here, put on number four, over there, uh, you know what, wrong place for that. And we will point you more this direction. Oops. And there, to there, yes. And then, um, we need this to be number, oh, sorry. You are number four, you are number five. And that moved this 
is now 9, and this is 10. Works for me. Okay. So that... We can now run all the way down here. I don't have uh, a, a means of falling, so I'm going to have to run all the way around. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I know I can't make that jump. So now remember, I left-clicked, okay, and you'll notice from the currently building, it's still in my menu. See how it's, you know what I mean, even though I'm way far away. So it's still actively my my build. So you run all the way around and get down to where you need to get to. Because, uh, well, that's all, I guess I could have just, because that's all the way down. Okay, does this line up? Looks to me like it does. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to go there. We need a power pole down here somewhere. And I'm a fool because I should have. Can we hook it up? I doubt it. I'd be so surprised. Nope. It's just out of my range. You need to hook up aim location. Yeah. I goofed up. And there we go. Okay. And if I had a zip line, I could take that down as a zip line. But I don't. Those are parts and pieces that come later in the game. Nice parts and pieces, though. Uh, I, I use the zip line not all the time, but I do use it. Uh, and from what I understand, the new um, power, power towers um, are going to be very useful when it comes to that. So now I'm not absolutely sure um, what I want to do here. Um, as far as this Caterium goes. Let's go here. Do 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 just a little bit of rework here. Let's put you here. Um, you come out of there, and uh, we're going to need to smelt. So, I'll well, probably go with our two. I, that's a pier up there. Uh, I can do 120 per minute. I do not have Caterium yet, um, so I can't put that in yet. Um, you need to come down here. Let's go there. And we're going to have to move you two over just a bit. You know what? Let's not do that. Or that. Let's put one here. Floating, but who cares? Okay. Come in. There we go. Okay. We will build the rest of that in a while. So uh, I got the beginnings of Criterium here. Um, I'm going to run back to the base. Well, I'm really glad I went uh, farming, or uh, I would be in bad, uh, bad straits here. Why are you not running? You are running. Okay, time for some MK2 belts. That looks better. Yeah, that looks way better. 
I wasn't uh, wasn't bringing enough biomass in. Uh, that'll up the fuel quite a bit. Okay, we're gonna check on that real quick. Um, I went and did the caterium back there uh, before all of this because I wanted to get the caterium research. So for the next part, I'm going to need um, caterium bars, which will add quick wire and then new products in the shop. And then we can get down to the zip line and do other stuff that's down there. Um, but I do need caterium which I have it running over there. Um, I was going to do the base. It, it's still in the works here, folks. I just I need to get um, this started no different than... I'm not going to run it all the way to the base, um, but I need to get it started just like I did the, you know, the, the copper and the limestone. I need to get this started and running so I can get this quick wire uh, because it's going to become pertinent fairly quickly here that this needs to start happening. And this is something that I'm just going to have running off to the side. Um, it is what it is. Alrighty. So. Now. Uh, we need constructors. And I truly cannot remember. Okay, let's go there. Just for a sec. Um, oh, right. Okay, hang on. We got caterium ingots, caterium ingots, and caterium ingots. And they run the same. They're not the same math, though. It's uh, 45 to make 15 caterium. So, uh, with the math here, it's pretty much three times um, 45, uh, which is 135. The pure iron or pure caterium deposit that I have upstairs with a normal MK1 mine will only make 120 per minute. So I'm getting a little bit behind on three smelters. But if I went two smelters, that would only be 90 and I'd have 120 coming in. And that I'd rather be a bit behind on this um, just for this particular build. So the output of these is 15 per minute. So 45 per minute. And then what I forgot to was how much a wire, how much that is. I did not look. So I'm going to have to run power all the way. Now this is going to add, I better check this out first. Okay, so let's run you to the corner. A smelter will run you four megawatts. We are right now running 20 capacity 240 max we're sitting around the 170 mark so 12 more is not gonna hurt say that with clenched teeth okay well, we're getting it's getting there let's bump you guys up okay come on ooh 83 we got lots of being made Um, no, I don't think I'm running short on anything here. Nope. You know what? Let's... Uh, where are you? Come on. There you are. Let's bump you up. And you. So now all the belts here are MK2 belts. Uh, you can see the difference between an MK with the dots on the side, by the way. Um, a normal, you see the three dots as compared to the one bigger dot. And the dots change as uh, you go up in belts. I've done this because uh, it's very apparent that my biofuel is not being made fast enough. I'm not getting enough biomass into the burner. Dump that in there. Okay, no problem. We're good. We're good. Yeah. There's uh, a lot more uh, being made. Um, four wood, 300 per minute in there, and only 60 per minute out of there. So um, the amount that I chew is 120 per minute. So the wood is always going to get backed up in this situation. Uh, but with the amount of fuel I'm pumping into here, 
I should be good. I should be uh, okay. Um, I was on Caterium, and I forgot to check my power after I added 12 megawatts to it. I'm pushing it, folks. I'm pushing it, and I know I am. Yeah, capacity 257. Cap our max consumption is 257. Capacity is only 220. Um, I am sitting around the 180, yeah, 180 mark, One, 168, one, yeah, okay. So we're not horrible. Uh, i got to get a bunch of ingots before I can get the quick wire going. But I needed, I felt I needed the quick wire. I felt I needed to get this going. Um, it's just time. It wasn't really a, um, a, a lack of resources on this one. This is just... So now I need to know. Actually, I can't. Still don't know. Ah, I didn't hook it up. Oh, man. So, splitter. Make sure I'm coming in the back end. Lots of room. Yes. Okay. There we go. We're going to move you. We're going to Kateria more of this guy. to here and now we're gonna come down we're gonna go this way so that I just make a turn go right in and we should be yep yeah, we should be golden okay good uh, I could update all these belts but I don't really want to reinforced iron plates it's expensive uh, I call it expensive um, because it's in order to make a reinforced iron plate, you got to make plates, you got to make rods, and you got to make screws. So it's a lot of energy and a lot of stuff towards making that 74 iron plate. Um, it's nice, no arguments, to make 74 iron plate. So now I need to have, like, what, 50 of these, don't I? Yeah, I think it is 50. Uh, so there's a lot of energy going into making a MK2 belt. When we get to uh, and an MK2 belt, by the way, is only 120 per minute, whereas an MK1 is 60. So you're doubling, yes. Okay, but an MK3 belt is 270. So that's over quadruple an MK1, over double an MK2. To me, it's the math. In, in, in my whatever thinking... Uh, the math works out better for energy expended to make products to give yourself the MK3s. Now, to make an MK3 belt, um, it does take um, steel. So I have to go research steel. Uh, I have to get the, uh, res or the space elevator up. I have to get to tier, uh, they call it tier one uh, in the space elevator. Um, oh, no. Objective one. Oh, boy. Too many games, everybody. <laughs> Too many games. Um, I have to get to the first level of Space Elevator. Complete it. To get tiers three and four in the hub. I think I got that right. Too many games. Okay. So I'm just basically waiting for 50 Katuria before I run away. 53. That'll be enough. Um, when I get the space elevator and I get the next objective <laughs> in the space, man, I got to get my terminology down, Pat, don't I? Dumbass. I mean, um, yeah, too many tiers and objectives and all sorts of stuff and all the different games we play and keeping them all straight when you're, yeah, I play too many games. I, I'm, I know I play way too many games. I understand that. Oh, and my grid shut down. Oh, today's just going to be a fun day, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't run out of fuel in there. Yeah, these are all good. Yeah. So I literally have to build another. Yeah. Okay. And so it begins. Okay, I'm going to go that direction. Put you on the end of there, and you on the end of there. And I'm going to there, and then hook you. 
you back up. And go here, grab that. How much we got? Uh, let's split you 90 and 90. And then plug you into there. Uh, if you right click any commodity in your. No connection. In your inventory. Um, get going. And there we go. Finally, the gray line's above the blue line. Yay! That hasn't happened in a while. Um, if you, in your inventory, if you right-click a commodity, just right-click, no, no, no control, no shift, no alt, no nothing, it will split the pile. Um, so you don't have to... Um, I think there's another way of doing it, isn't there? Yes. If you right-click and drag, you can choose how to split your piles. Like if you want to go, say, 50 and 150, um, you can choose to split. It's different ways of... I, I thoroughly enjoy the fact that they put as many different ways to split piles up as they did in this game. Um, now, what's here? Caterium Electronics. Hmm. Okay, I thought... Alrighty, no problem. I need a hundred of those. That's the next one. Uh, there's a lot of other games out there that they don't give enough splitting capability. Like, you're really restricted as to how you're going to split your stuff up. And it's, it's, oh, it's horrible, isn't it? I mean, it's, you're fighting with stacks and piles. In this game, it's, you know, move all, move one. You know, split all, or, well, split the entire stack into two. Uh, split some. There's lots of different options, which is really cool. Thank you, devs. Because, um, yeah, we I just recently played... Uh, it is one per one. Really? Oh, 12 and 60 out. Okay, 12 in, 60 out. Okay, well, that's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Well, like, holy a lot. So I'll be able to make three of these. One for one. It's not like you won't be able to keep up. But I just finished um, playing uh, a game called uh, Bell Uh It's in my, in case you're interested, it's in my uh, directory I use for, uh, or my playlist I use for new looks. Um, stuff that I'm taking a new look at. That kind of thing. Uh, let's go. I'm still... Still okay. Quick wire. Quick wire and quick wire. And then we shall put a storage box. Where are we going to put our storage box? Um, it, sorry, it's in a directory that I use for, uh, or in a playlist I use for just new stuff I'm looking at. You know, just different games that are out there in the market and whatnot. Um, I do it on one hand for the channel. Absolutely. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it isn't for the channel. How come I can't get a green... Oh, there you are. Um, but I'm always and always have looked at new games that are out there. Um, I, I don't need a YouTube channel to do that. It's, uh, oh, I don't need one there. I can go here. Into there. But it is fun to look at new games. Um, it is fun to check them out to, you know, see what's see what's out there in the world. See what uh, game devs are doing. Um, some games are good. Some games suck. <laughs> Hate to say it. Some games do. Um, logistics, conveyors, that, and that needs to be able to handle the uh, the increased traffic. Okay, and I have three of these on me, which I hope I can get. Yes, I can. There we go. Okay, that'll do. But in that game, it was it was hard to move stuff around. It was a bit of a hassle. Um, 
I don't mean to bash devs when I say that you know playing their game was a hassle, but it, it was a bit of a hassle to move things around, um, shuffle your inventories, and it just uh, you know it just starts to become kind of a drag to play those games. Um, it's amazing how um, when you get a game that does work and, and works very well, it's amazing how much more enjoyable it is to play that game. You know, rather than be farting around with the game where you can't move things around, it's, I don't know. At the days of old in 4-bit um, gaming, <laughs> okay, I'm aging myself, I'm dating myself here, back in the 80s, oh, it was painstaking to move things around inventories. It was, oh, it was harsh. Um, um, do, do I dare say before the advent of the mouse? <laughs> Yes. Before the advent of a mouse, it was really, really rough to move stuff around inventories. And to me, when a game is still that rough, and, like, we're well into the new... Yeah. We're in this day and age? Yeah. I'm sorry, you need to work on your proverbial shtick there, folks. Uh, great game otherwise, though. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, checking out uh, that game again. And seeing what kind of, you know, updates and upgrades and all the rest of that. I remember when Satisfactory first came out. You know, there was there was a few things that needed work. There was a few things that needed help and all the rest of that. So you can't... Uh, can I do it? Yes, I can. Time for my zip line. Okay. So um, MK2 power poles are nice. Uh, and I will be getting them. Um, don't need the AI limiter as yet. Don't need a power switch as yet, but I do want the smart splitter. So I will be working my way down here, but you need the AI limiter to get the smart splitter. Um, making an AI limiter doesn't show me, or does it? Oh, come on. No? It won't let me because of the parent node. Um, in order to make an AI limiter, if I correct, it's the O screen parts. Does it give it to me yet? Nope, because I can't even make it yet. So um, I'll be looking into that as soon as I can make it. Uh, oops, no, don't destroy the thing. What are you doing? Wrong button. Um, I th think I can I I can make that stuff already, can't I? So hog protein and splitter protein, and I can't make the, or is it in here? Nope, so I can't make it yet. There we go. Ha ha! Okay. Wire, don't gonna have it. I could, but I don't need the rebar gun. Believe it or not, I skipped the rebar gun. Yeah, there's people going to be going, like, what do you mean? You yeah, I, I skip it. Um, I really don't like that gun. <coughs> ah, ask me. Okay. I mean, I eventually get it, but inventory slots and a hand equipment. I don't need the hand equipment. I don't really... I mean, inventory slots are nice, but that's a thousand cable, everybody. And... I don't have the uh, this piece right here, the crystal oscillator. Uh, that's under quartz, by the way. And I have yet to go find quartz. I know where it is. I've just yet to go get it. Um, I do not have the bacon. Bacon! And I'm not... I don't have steel. Because that would be steel pipe. So that's not going to happen either. Nutritional processor. I could do the mycelia with a, um, uh, which one call it? With a, any recipe to get uh, biomass. Uh, remember, I was, I don't know, last episode I did mention that you can make biomass out of mycelia, uh, and you can also use um, um, the alien parts to make biomass. You can do all of it. The alien, look at the production rate on that. Produced in a constructor or crafting bench, it's one alien part equals 100 the craft rate is 1500 per minute i mean whoa but um acquiring those alien parts well you notice you got to do a lot of combating to get that done 
So I don't end up using that one. And mycelia is usable for fabric. And fabric gets used for um, the poison cartridges on your gas mask and the nuclear cartridges on your gas mask. Those eventually get used for that. So I, I tend to save all that. Um, if I really need biomass later on, uh, I end up, I just go farm for it. Uh, after I get out of these, uh, the biomass uh, burners, once I get out of these in a little while, um, I leave mine up, um, but I don't, you don't need them anymore. They, uh, you put them on standby. Um, and if you have enough power, they just don't get used. You know what I mean? They don't suck back the fuel. You don't, you're not constantly free filling them and everything else. You're not constantly running around getting biomass done. and It just stops. Um, do I need? I have. Do I need? Do I need? I think I'm pretty much done in here. Uh, researching for just a little bit. Yes, Caterium. Um, right, MK2 poles. I do uh, want those. Yes, I do. I like my MK2 poles. Ah, uh, hang on. Sorry. Great moment. Where are you? Zipline. I need a Xeno Zapper. So let's make one Xeno Zapper. And one Zipline tool. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the chainsaw can wait. It can sit. Let's put that in there. And then we can just flip between it. I think I want to have some of that on me though. Ooh, can I get to it? Well, it's do or die, isn't it? There we go. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Oh, missed. The um, getting past the poles has always been fun. Okay, so we need what we got sitting in here. Oh wow. Yeah, this stuff's getting created real quick. Um, I think I'm good. I needed... You know what? Let's take another stack and we'll at least put it up there. Now, as I understand it... Oh, come on. I can't make it? Really? There we go. Doom, 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 doom. The only way to try... And yes, you can go uphill now. There was a time where you couldn't. Oh, I missed it. Actually, I should see if they gave you a bypass on that. I wonder if they did. I never even tried. Okay. I want my MK2 pole. And Caterium. And here. And research that. Thank you very much. Now, MK3 poles, yeah, it's a little more. Like, way more. Like the high-speed connector and steel pipe. Like, way more. Uh, not caring about the rebar, okay, because uh, rebar comes in uh, way down here. And it's just the rebar gun, everyone. I, like I said, um, call me whatever, but I don't use the rebar gun. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in here to save space. We're down on... these. And I need 50 more of those. Okay. I think I got enough. I grab wire on my way. I missed. I missed again. Okay, I'm not going to jump. Yeah, see, that knocks you off. So 
they haven't changed that. So then it's an interesting um, kind of a jump right before you get to it, and then you got to aim properly, which I have messed that up a bunch of times now. And uh, get yourself all lined up to uh, now one, two, three, wasn't it? So, uh, for any of you who have never seen the space elevator get built, <laughs> you're in for a treat. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build um, up top there and uh, put some more stuff in. I'm, I'm doing a lot of this building off camera. Um, like I said before, now that I've shown you the method to my madness, um, yeah. I, I think I'm pretty much at the point where I've built my skeleton enough that that um, I'm, I'm happy with, with what I'm doing here. Um, I went out and got asphalt because up top here, um, even with all the, the crossings and the railroad and coming up here and whatnot, I still have a road. Uh, meaning that all the way down each one of these quadrants, each one of these squares, I have a road around it. And then that road continues and it goes, you know, in this way, um, it's not for the dune buggies because um, it's a little unwieldy to have a dune buggy up here. Um, this is for the uh, the cart. Uh, when you have a factory this large, uh, yeah, I found I really want to have a cart when I run around my factory. Um, so this is... Uh, basically the skeleton of what I'm what I'm working at here um, each one of these goes up um, from here um, I bring the power pole uh, down and I make wall sockets now I don't have wall sockets otherwise it would immediately give me one uh, I'm waiting um, for the, uh, the sink to build up again so that I can make wall sockets um, now these do eventually get turned into uh, MK2 power poles, okay, so that they can handle the, the connections uh, in each uh, corner. Uh, I mean, I start them out with MK1s, but they do eventually go to MK2s, uh, and then eventually they go MK3s. And from here, you say, I have components in here, so you drag from the corner to wherever you're building your components, and then carry on. Um, up top here is the elevator. Uh, problem is I used all my concrete <laughs> to make this. Um, and I still have parts that aren't done. But as you can see, this is a repeatable process. Uh, in other words, um, stairway, one space away, road. Um, and that continues as I build outwards. And I'm going to continue to build this before I start putting any components and parts and pieces in this gets built. Um, reason being, I want the power in place. I want the poles in place. Down here, it's uh, wall sockets, by the way. Okay. But I don't um, I don't have wall sockets here. I need to get them out of the the uh, uh, the, the fix-it shop. I need to get my wall sockets and whatnot. And all of these, yes, they all get a road. Now, to the observer, this is my main. So that's where I start. And then I'm one space away and then one road. That shortens the distance between this now, which is where I would effectively start any sort of building or components. And that effectively cuts this one down to eight. Yes, it does. Um, but the pattern repeats itself. Okay, from here on, which means one space, road, and then it continues. Okay, and how many, however many different directions I'm going to take this, which I haven't totally decided yet, by the way, uh, as to how far I'm going to take this uh, this one. Uh, I'm planning on this being a little bigger build um, than my previous. I'm also going to leave more space. Um, a friend of mine, Samuel, he, he plays in my the other games that, that I play. Uh, you know, my partner in crime in Valheim. And... Uh, 
other other games as well. We've done some first looks and whatnot. But anyways, he came onto my factory once, and he hadn't helped me build it. He's not a factory builder, which is fine, um, uh, but loves the survival games and such. But anyways, he came onto my factory, and he got lost. Um, I mean, he was eventually able to figure himself out and whatnot, but he got lost. He was just, wow, like, where where do I go? It was all spaghetti. It was spaghetti factory. And anybody who's ever built a spaghetti factory, I mean, sh we get lost in our own factories. Not to mention what would happen if somebody else came into those spaghetti contraptions. And yeah, okay. So now that you all know where I'm coming from, uh, what I try to do is I try to organize. Uh, it became a thing with me to try to organize what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured this is what's going to happen. Okay, so logistics MK2. Hey everybody, I'm going to bring this one to a close. I really wanted to get the space elevator up, but oh well. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, thanks for all the support from uh, past, present, future. Uh, if you're liking the series, drop me a comment. Let me know. Uh, new ideas are good. They're, they're great. I, I, I'm not opposed to them. I, I do have a plan for this one. Um, but, I mean, you know, hey, drop a comment. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, you'd be helping the channel out, and I do thank you in advance. Thanks a lot. Uh, have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.